I'd like to talk briefly about what constitutes a meal. Many parents ask, how many different food groups, how much of those food groups do I need to feed my child in order to feel like I'm giving them a complete meal? The basic components of a meal should at the bare minimum include three different food groups which consist of a grain, a protein, and a vegetable. In the grain group, it might include foods such as tortillas, breads, rice, pasta, also starchy vegetables such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, or winter squash. The protein-rich foods can include animal sources such as poultry, red meat, or fish and seafood, and also sources such as dairy like milk and cheese. Vegetarian sources can include things such as beans, nuts and seeds, and soy foods like tofu. Another important group to include is the vegetable group, which can include all the colorful vegetables such as carrots, broccoli, bell peppers, and even though a vegetable may not have the richest color, such as cauliflower or onions, they still offer lots of nutritional value. If you have the three basic components of a meal, this actually makes a complete and balanced meal. So we have our rice here for the grain group, we have a chicken breast here for protein, and we have some green beans for a vegetable. Now ideally, if you can add a serving of fruit to the meal, so we've got some grapes here, and a serving of dairy, such as a glass of milk, you're going to be adding a lot more nutritional value to the meal by bringing in the fruit and the dairy group. And of course, if you can leave a little room for dessert at the end, that's always appreciated too. Remember the Pick Chow page on the Zis Boomba website is there to assist you to remember which components complete a meal so that you can feel good about making sure your meals are balanced and feeding your child healthfully. Visit ZisBoomba.com now to find out how we can help your family create balanced and healthy meals.